Hi church, in today's devotional, I want to start with a question. And that is, where do you go to when you want to hear words of encouragement? Or where do you go to when you want to feel motivated? Who are your venues or who are the people that you can count on in difficult times? I have a great story from the Bible that reminds us that God is with us at all times. And he doesn't want us to do life alone. I know that times right now, everywhere we go, are a little bit difficult, but God is so good to us, so, so good. His mercies are forever, that he makes sure that we have people in our lives that can help us and hold our hands when we're feeling tired or discouraged. And the story from Exodus 17 explains really well how Jesus, how God gives Moses friends and family members to hold his hand and fight the battle until the end to win. And that's exactly what God has in mind for each one of us. So Exodus 17 verses 10 to 13 says, So Joshua fought the Amalekites as Moses has ordered. And Moses, Aaron, and Hur went to the top of the hill. As long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning. But whenever he lowered his hands, the Amalekites were winning. When Moses' hands grew tired, they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on on it. Aaron and Hur held his hands up, one on one side, one on the other, so that his hands remained steady till sunset. So Joshua overcame the Amalekite army with the sword. Uh, the, The story itself, it's telling us how Aaron... Moses' brother and his friend Hur were right there, holding Moses' hands when he got tired, helping him to keep the arms up because that will help the Israelites to win. And so we see the friendship. We see the way how these two men were next to Moses, side by side, until sunset, until the end of the day, until waiting, until the the battle was, was won. And I just want to tell you that this is not just something that Moses had the privilege to have two wonderful men. But we all, we are all here and we, and God has given us people in a village where we can go and count on those around us. Jesus wants to tell us that his love for us is so big that he wants to make sure that we don't do life alone. That's why he puts friends and family members to help us. So I want to motivate you today. I want you to do a couple of things. I want you to ask, go and ask God, if you don't have anybody around, God, would you please provide for me? People like Aaron and Hur, who were there and walked life with Moses, can you provide those kind of people for me? And if you are in a place where you are full of a support system and people that love you and show you how much you care for, I want to motivate you to go a step further and ask God, help me to be one of the people that can hold someone else's hand. Just like Aaron and Hur, help me to be there for somebody else. Church, God doesn't want us to do life alone. God wants us to love one another. Right now, we're in times where we need to show God's love to each other. Regardless, put away our differences and start loving just like the way God did. God is so good. He's our friend and he puts in our lives people that can help us until the end of the day, until sunset comes to win the battle. The Lord is with us. Amen.